What's up guys, today's video I'm going to be showing you uh, port matching or opening up the exhaust ports on a 621X manifold to match a 62T. Uh, little backstory, wax racing manifold for a 61X. As you can see, 61X manifold bolts, um, forgot what size these are, but they fit perfectly fine. But the problem is 62T cylinders use a bigger bolt, which will not fit. And also this is a different exhaust port sizing. It's a lot smaller on a 61X versus 60T. But as you can see, 60T right here, both fit perfectly fine. So on a wax racing manifold, I could technically drill these out, but I'm not talking bad upon wax. But if you look, this hole right here, there's not a lot of meat to bite onto. And drilling it out to fit this, you know, is not to my liking whereas on a real factory pipe manifold you could see that there's a lot more meat to bite onto in all the corners if I, as I, if I drilled these out it would just terrify me a little bit you know that these ends would crack off so what I did did some research and I found that high speed industries makes a manifold gasket that fits 61x bolt holes so you don't have any play but it also has 62T exhaust ports. So as you can see, you have the exhaust port size that fits perfect. Whereas if you had a 61X manifold gasket and put it on here, you know, it fits right now, but you would not have the clearance. So if I put these side by side and kind of line up the bolt holes, I should flip it. you could see that there's a big difference with the porting on it. Uh, I don't know how much of a difference this is gonna make if you left the gasket the way it was or left the exhaust opening, but while I'm here, I'd rather open it up. So like I said, now I went out and bought High Speed Industries custom intake manifold gaskets that allow me to run the stock 61X bolts, uh, with a 62T exhaust manifold opening. So all I did, you know, you could cover this in dicum, which is a type of material so you could scribe on it. But what I just did was I put, you know, all eight bolts in there. So it was squared perfectly and then took a dental pick and scribed around this. So as you can see, I have my scribe line that I'm gonna be grinding. And while I'm in here too, you know, the port or the casting work isn't the greatest. There's some flaws in it, nothing horrible. And I'm just going to clean these up while I'm in there. But I figured I'd show you me opening this up. And I'm also going to open up this. Not tremendously. I'm not going to do like 49 millimeters. But just enough that it matches the stock gaskets that you get. Because even though this is a 62T one. If I put a caliper up to this. You might even be able to tell in the video. This is tremendously smaller for some unknown reason. It might be one of the first you know, factory pipe manifolds made back then um you know they don't come that small anymore but i just want to open this up make it nice and clean up the ports that i could run on a 62t with using the same bolts um i also <clears throat> bought if i could find them they're basically they're not time certs but um they pretty much are if you think about it um there's these, these little things that thread in to the 62T thread bolt and allows you to use a 61X bolt still. So if you look, it's the thread size, the outer thread size is the thread size of a 62T bolt as the inner is the same pitch and thread size as a 61X. These are very hard to come by uh, in stainless steel. I actually ordered them on Amazon from a company that kind of sucked to be honest it took a very long time for them to get here or else this build would have been done you know 2023 where i could have actually tested it on the water but we'll get into it and probably just going to do a time lapse of me doing the port work uh just because it's a lot of you know material to take out and just time but we'll get into it so as of right now <clears throat> i did this side as you can tell and we're throwing on the gasket it's pretty damn near mint in my opinion um 
that another bolt would be easier, but everything's flush, flows perfect, as you can see the difference. A lot of aluminum taken out. Uh, you have to be careful. You know, these are pretty thick around the porting uh, for, not porting, but casting for the water. But you know, like all the water flows through here too internally. So you have to be careful with how much material you take away. Um, there's a little bit I gotta clean up. You can see there's a wave right here. Um, but this is kind of just the first go around, get all the rough stuff out and the, most of the material. Um, I found it easiest using these at first, but I bought really crappy ones. So as you can tell, they're just filling up with aluminum. Um, these are just, yeah, cheap ones. But then I have all these sanding pads too that you could either throw on a Dremel or throw on a drill. Um, I find them the easiest to use. You could take away a little material at a time and not worry. But as you can see, cleaned up this. Uh, this is just a rough job as of right now but it probably took me 20 minutes to do. Um, there's a wave right here I wanna get out. But all you really gotta do is go around, make sure everything's smooth, make sure you're following your lines, not opening up too wide. There's cooling ports throughout there, so or cooling jackets you have to make sure that you're not dremeling into. So what I do is, you know, you could go in with these. I bought really cheap ones, so they chunk up aluminum and kind of suck. But what I do is I just put sanding pads on drills, dremels, Go in there that way you fluctuate different uh aggressiveness and grits so you could take away a little material at a time or a lot where you need to so i'm going to go back over here and open up this guy and get rid of some of those imperfections in the casting and clean it up a little bit Just want to give a little update where I'm at. Finished porting this side, or opening it up, not really porting it. This side's also done. Um, didn't do anything with the top. I know people tend to bore them out bigger. Uh, I just went with the stock size, or like what factory pipe originally does, or wax. Um, I did have a bigger size gasket that I thought about doing. Um, you know, it open it up, I think, to about 49 millimeters wide. Um, but I don't plan on doing it on this boat. I plan on doing it on one of my other blasters. But as of right now, everything's all cleaned up, all the rough spots. It's not perfect. Um, it's good enough for my liking. And then after I went in there, I actually have scotch Brite pads that also go on the Dremel. I used a green one and a black one just to really uh, polish it and get any of the little imperfections out like i said it doesn't have to be perfect um you know there's some high spots and ridges still deep up in there i was primarily doing it just to open this up um to work with a uh, 60t but you know if you're in here and doing it you might as well just make it a little bit prettier you know like i said the casting wasn't perfect on the wax manifolds it was still good but you can see now, if I push the gasket up where it's supposed to be, porting's perfect. So, yep, that's for this video. Uh, just a quick little one to kind of uh, show you the process of doing it. Like I said, you know, on the exhaust, cleaning it up makes it a little bit better, flows better, flows smoother, not as much for the grab. Uh, exhaust getting out faster is better. So, that's all for this one. Um, hopefully, in the next video, you will be seeing this intake getting bolted onto this motor for the purple wave blaster that you guys haven't seen yet. So this is just typical 62T all the way around. I don't know what size domes. I know it's gonna make like 185, 190. It's got BCW intake, I believe, with 46 buckshots on it. Uh, stock reeds, nothing else done to the motor, but it'll have a B-pipe on it. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.